the Utah Beaver Trip. guys so we just made it to beaver utah and it's really beautiful i mean it's forest everywhere you know the last time i came here it was just four feet of snow you, you see the cement I, I couldn't see that it was up to my knees yeah I, I came here around december for winter break anyways um we're at our little house in beaver and it took a really long time I, I want to take a nap. A few moments later. Hey guys, I'm back and um, I found some deers. Oh look, there's my sister. Oh, no, they're gonna run away. Karma, don't go too close to them. Yeah. Um, aren't they amazing? Yeah, let me zoom in even more. Look, wow, that's amazing. This is like, what, the fifth time I've seen a, seen a deer? Yeah, I don't usually see these guys often, but in beaver, they appear everywhere. Just like those goats. Oh yeah, and I found the name, I found the names of those goats. They, they're called Elsa and Jack. Oh, looks like the battery's gonna run out. I'll come back later. Or something else interesting. Alright, bye. I'm going to a river to take pictures. And I'll be back. No, no, don't close it off. Don't. Really? Much drowning later. So we have just found like five deer. This is incredible. Sadly, we can't shoot them because the sign says so, and I don't have $1,900 on me right now, so. I know, right? Probably can't see it with the camera. There we go. That's some nice deer. I'm coming. Really? All right, guys, we're going back to the house and yeah. And there's nothing really interesting to film now, so I'll get back to you later. Mm, bye. Ooh, look at that sign. So we made it. Oh, yeah. Where's the chimney? 
Anyways, we made it back home, and I'm probably just going to go sit on the couch and watch cartoons. So, I'll get back to you in a second. So, me and my sister just woke up, and we're going to a cafe for breakfast. Look at the stream, it's so beautiful. Karma, come here. Come see. Again? Look at it. Wow. It's so pretty. Whew. So, we just came back from the cafe, and it was delicious. They had the best buttermilk pancakes in the world. And after that, we visited the cheese factory, which wasn't really a factory at all. Mostly a gift shops. We couldn't really take a tour. And after that, we decided to go to the mountains. And if I zoom in, you can see some trails of snow left. We're not going that far. We just wanted some fresh air. Anyways, I'm going back in the car. And I'll catch up with you later once we do something interesting. So after a couple minutes of driving, we encountered snow. It's everywhere and it's in full glory. It's, oh God, amazingly ouch white. Not that that's racist or anything. Karma, are you okay? Anyways, it's very cold. I think it's about 20 degrees. Oh, oh God. I just fell in the snow. I think it's about 20, oh my God, degrees. I keep on falling in the snow and I'm wearing shorts. You know, I was expecting it to be really hot, but no. Once you expect jumping in a, oh God, river and going fishing, you get snow. Not that that makes sense or anything. Oh God, it's so cold. Oh God. Hey, don't laugh at me. It's so cold. But it's still beautiful. Oh God, look. Ice. All right, it's getting windy. Better go back in the car. See you guys later. All right, so we just came back from our great hiking trip. And, oh man, it just got a lot warmer. It's so weird because we were just in the snow and about 10 minutes later, we come back home, and it's 80, 70 degrees out. I'm like, what? what? How is that even possible? It's so weird, but cool. Well, I mean, ha, huh, but you get the point. Anyways, like yesterday, I'm probably going to watch some cartoons and relax. Um, s lie down in the grass stare in the sun, probably burn my eyes, then go to the hospital, then get two plastic. I mean, um, that that's not going to happen. I'm not going to the hospital. That was a joke. No need to worry. Yeah, so I'll be back. I think we're going to a museum today. I'm not sure. Probably tomorrow. So, yeah. Okay, so we made it to the Outdoor Beaver Museum, and we're on our way to Vegas, so I better make this quick. Let's, let's go to the wagon first. So I already read this, but the wagon was a reproduction of the wagons used by Mormon settlement to travel from Omaha 
Nebraska to Salt Lake City, which is very boring and nobody cares about, but kind of interesting at the same time. Do not touch wagon. Well, I live the thug life. Boom. Yeah, that's right. I just touched the wagon. Yeah, nobody does that. All right, so this is the house of Philo T. T. Farnsworth, and he was the inventor of modern television. Yeah, I think this was built by his uncle, and then he lived in it, then got the idea while riding on a horse in his farm, then drew it to his teacher, and they used that drawing in court to patent the television. But this isn't an educational video. It's a really cool house. Simple, but it gets the job done. And finally, this is the statue of Philo T. Farnsworth. He died in 1971, which was, um, what, like 40 years ago? Yeah, ma father of television. That's a cool statue of him. Look at his face. What is he looking at? That smug little face. That could be a meme. I think it already is a meme. I don't know. Yeah, they really got every single detail, even his butt, which is kind of weird, but I applaud the architect who made that. So it's a, it's a very simple museum. We can't go inside because it's closed right now. And it's, right now it's only an outdoor museum. So. She's over there. So I guess that's it. And that's pretty much the end of the trip. I might get some footage of us going back to Vegas, but I doubt it. So, uh, this is goodbye for now. Come on, Karma, let's go back to the car. No. Finally, it's over.